Hello everybody, this is Russ Buecher from Control My Nikon, and welcome to the connecting tutorial. We're going to take a look at how you connect Control My Nikon to your camera. Normally, they connect without much difficulty at all. However, sometimes you need to tweak things a little bit to get Control My Nikon to find your camera. And we'll take a look at how you could troubleshoot connection problems. First of all, to connect to your camera, you need to select your camera from this drop-down list. So these are all the supported cameras. If your camera is not on this list, Control My Icon will not connect to it. So I'm currently connected to a D7000, so I'll select that. And then we click on Connect, and it has failed. It says Camera Not Detected. Well, the first thing to do is ensure that you have the proper camera selected here and then ensure you have the power on on your camera if you have the power on in your camera but the battery is very low and we're talking down to the last little bar on the camera indicator it won't connect you'll either need to hook up AC power on the camera or just install a recharged battery so I'm going to attempt to connect again I've just turned my camera on and it'll search, and it says it found it, and once it's connected, it'll take you to the exposure tab. And down here, it'll show you what your battery level is, and currently it says it's 60% remaining. Now I'm just going to go back to my connection tab here. When it's time to disconnect from your camera, you can press disconnect. And then when you need to reconnect, you say connect again, and so on. Now there's keyboard shortcuts available for connecting and disconnecting to your camera. There right here so you can set uh, any key to connect and disconnect. Now let's take a look at some more troubleshooting. If you cannot get your camera to connect, make sure that your USB cable you're using is a USB 2.0 cable and that it is firmly plugged into your camera and your computer. Okay, obvious stuff, but just make sure that this is the cable that came with your camera and the Nikon cameras can be very picky about the cable it uses. So if you don't have that particular cable available that came in the box with your camera and you just go buy a cheap cable somewhere, it may not work. And normally the more expensive, better cables have the little bump on the cable uh, near where you connect your camera. That's the ferrite core where uh, it is used to help reduce interference on the, uh, on the signal. Now not all Nikon cameras listed here don't all use the same cable. The newer cameras like the 5100 uh, use a bit of a different cable than the 7000 and the 300 and all those. So Nikon has been known to change the cables around from time to time. To confirm that your computer can at least connect to your camera, try connecting to it outside of Control My Nikon. So just shut down Control My Nikon completely and I'm using Windows 7 here and right now when I plug in my camera and turn it on, this Windows application pops up. And this is basically the Windows 7 driver launching an application that lets you browse the media, take a look at the images that you have on there, transfer them, and so on. So uh, it's pretty basic, but that at least tells you that the cabling is okay and that you have adequate power and that your computer can recognize your camera. And if you can get it this far, then you should be able to connect to it with Control My Icon. So back to Control My Icon, and I'm going to connect again. And there's some hints here about connecting to your camera if you cannot connect. Let's see what else we have. Now, some of the older cameras, such as the D80 and the D40s, had a USB mode. And in particular, you're, you could set your USB mode on your camera body to be mass storage or PTP. You want to set it to be PTP. This means that your camera can be controlled remotely by a program such as Control My Icon. Now the newer cameras have this set automatically and you probably won't even find that setting available. For example, a D7000, you can't set this. It's PTP all the time, which is just fine. Uh, Control My Icon communicates with your camera using a software development kit and drivers that are provided by Nikon. And some of the older drivers, such as for the D40 and the 40X and the 80 and the D200 here, 
on the newer versions of Windows can have some difficulties. So you need to ensure that if you're running these four camera models on Windows 7, then set the program compatibility mode to Vista SP2. And the way you do that, you just find the shortcut, right click, go to properties, compatibility, and say run it in Vista SP2 mode. And then save it. Then launch it again and uh, it should work. Now something else to try, if all else fails and you just cannot get your computer to connect to your camera or it was connecting and it's no longer connecting, reboot your computer and restart your camera. After a heavy use of turning on the connection between your camera and computer uh, very frequently and then shutting it down, uh, the USB drivers can get a little bit confused for the camera and the only way to remedy that is reboot your computer and restart your camera. But that happens pretty rarely. Now when you start up Control Mine Icon, you may receive a warning message telling you that you need to install a C++ libraries. And the Nikon drivers uh, for connecting to the, your camera requires the C++ 2008 SP1 library to install in your computer. And normally Nikon software install these for you. So if you install ViewNX2, which is free, it'll install these two for you. And if you want to view raw files in Control My Nikon, you need C++ 2005 SP1 installed. There is a link here on the help telling you more about these libraries to be installed and links to the Microsoft site where you can download and install these. But it's pretty unusual that you will need to do this, but if you need to do it, it's, it's very easy. So that's it. That's how you connect your camera to Control Man Icon. Happy tethering.